Okay, uh, we will we'll talking with uh, Jeff McGigas from the Cockney Rejects from the London and the Cockney Rejects will be play uh, in our show in Bandung Calling Tree uh, for the uh, tagline with the Farewell Tour in 2023. Okay, what is your first impression about Indonesia? Because uh, this is your first trip to Indonesia. Um, the first impression has been fantastic. It's uh, just how friendly people are. Um, you know, everybody's made us feel welcome. Okay. It uh, looks like a beautiful country. The weather's really nice. Okay. And uh, no, the people have been fantastic. I, I couldn't believe at the sound check, you know, the way that people, that's, they actually clapped us into, into the arena and uh, that touch me, that, that is really brilliant. Absolutely lovely. Okay. I love the place. Okay. Okay. Uh, after the Indonesia, we'll talk about uh, what is your op opinion about Bandung itself? Bandung? Yes. Yeah, well, what I've seen of Bandung is very, very nice. Yeah, okay. really, very busy. Busy. You know, what I expected, but um, yeah, a, a really nice city. Nice city. It's lovely. And uh, <laughs> we're enjoying every second that we're here. Uh, do you have any culture shock when you arrive here? Um, not really, no. Um, you know, I mean, the world's a place full of, you know, wonderful people. You know, I expected it to be really good, but I was a bit over come like you know by the reception that we got okay. and uh, no Bend, it, it, it's fine it's um we're very lucky to go to these places mm. in the world you know we've been very very lucky and embrace it i wish we could stay here longer <laughs> <laughs> because if you know it's a bandung is not uh, the capital of indonesia no it's jakarta so <laughs> yeah, i suppose everybody are. thinks jakarta but uh we come out of jakarta it looked nice out of the airport and um but it's lovely to come into this city, it's lovely. Thank you, thank you. Okay, uh, we'll talk about the process. Did you have any contact with Bandung Lads or maybe music scene from the Bandung before? I'm not sure whether we did. I mean, I get offers and, and things. It, it, it's not a 24 hour business oh, okay. all, all over the world, but when this offer came in and it was close you know, to Australia and New Zealand, we, we said yes straight away that we, that we would play it. You get a lot of people contact you and then you lose emails and then <laughs> things break down, you know. Okay. It's, uh, it, it, it's, it non-stop comes at you, but <laughs> we're glad that we agreed to this. Yes, thank you. Okay, uh, the next question is, uh, this is your first time except the offering to play in Indonesia or any offering before? Uh, my first time to have played in Indonesia. Indonesia yes. Yeah, this is our first time, yeah, oh, okay. to play in Indonesia, so we're thrilled, like, you know, we can't <laughs> wait. It's, uh, yeah, the first time to play, huh? And uh, let's hope it's not the last. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, when the Bandung Callings or even an organizer uh, contacts the band uh, to play in Indonesia, what is your reaction? Uh, yeah, I was very happy with it. You know, it, it, it's nice as a band to to go all over the world and not just the safe places. Maybe you know what a lot of bands do. Oh, we we'll go to America or you know we we'll go around Europe and, okay. and stuff like that. Australia, New Zealand. This was like the different that was thrown at us. So, yeah, it, it was. It's great to be invited. You know okay. that people want you, and that's the secret of it. You know, to be asked to come to somewhere is was beyond our wildest dreams when we started in a band when we was kids. So it's fantastic. Okay. The journey's great. It's all about <laughs> the journey, not the destination. It's good. It has to be the great journey for you. Yeah, okay? yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> what a buzz. Okay, yeah. we will talk about the show. Uh, this is your really, really last show outside the UK, or same with your tagline, uh, the farewell tour. It, it, I think people misread uh, mm. farewell in a lot of ways. What it is, it would be the end of touring, you know, because sometimes we go out, we do. 10 shows, we do 15 shows. Mm. No, what we're gonna do is we scale it down to just doing festivals mm. and one-off shows. Okay. So it's not the end of the band by oh, any means. Okay. It's just that we're all getting old and we're finding the constant touring very hard. Mm. So there's no reason to say that in a year, two years, that we could come back to do a one-off show in Bandung. You know? <laughs> so it's, it, it's not the end of the band. It got misconstrued a little okay. bit when we said it was we'll the last year of touring. You know? <laughs> Everybody goes, oh, it's finished, it's all over. Ah. Well, no, it's not, it's not. <laughs> because there is a mis uh, misconception about Yeah, that, but that's because... fair enough. I understand the misconception, but you've heard it from me. It's, it's not right, it's not the end. Ah, this is not a farewell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is no not the tagline, no right? Way. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, how about this, this farewell tour? Where did it start and where did it end? Um, it started 
I suppose at the beginning of this year, it started in Antwerp in Belgium and it will finish December uh, just before Christmas in London. Oh, London. Two shows at the Andra Club in London. Okay. And in between there's a lot of places, you know, still to go, Japan, you know, all over Europe, uh, Argentina, Brazil. So there's still a lot of travelling. Australia, right. New Zealand as well. Can we say it about the world tour? Can we say it, uh, this is the, your world tour? World Or tour, yeah, you can <laughs> say it's a world tour, yeah, yeah because it is going around the world, yeah, <laughs> yeah it's a world tour. Okay, uh, is there any planning to take a tour in the near future after this farewell tour? Or maybe some kind of world tour bef uh, after this? Uh, no, but uh, as I say, there won't be, th th there'll be no more touring where there's four or five shows back to front. There'll, th there'll be a weekend here, maybe a weekend there. Um, 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 we mainly look to do festivals, mm, you know. Okay, 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 okay. So, uh, there is uh, any chance you, you, you will come back to Bangladesh? Yeah, why not? Yeah, <laughs> okay. why not? Yeah, never say never. <laughs> I would say that this, this story is the part of your uh, album promotion? Um, if... You could say that. It's not really ever like, you know, oh, we're going to promote an album. All we do is an album is out mm. and we just play two songs off it in the set and that's it, you know. If you've got a record company and, and they put a lot of money into an album, you're obliged really okay. to play some of that music because they've put a lot of money into it. So <laughs> it is what it is, yeah. It's a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, Jeff, uh, you have been sick lately. Because uh, 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 what 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 sick uh, do you have uh, recently? Because uh, there is uh, some disturbing in uh, social media. Because uh, when your show in Wolves in yeah. Wolverhamptons, y mm. uh, you were uh, some clinical. Uh, yeah, there is a <laughs> lot yeah. of. <laughs> no, what that was is um, uh, leading up for years and years and years. I've had uh, kidney stones. Oh, okay. And one of them was so large, and I was in so much pain. Uh, it was late, that was short notice, mm. uh, about four days before the ball, three days before the Wolverhampton show, okay. that put me in hospital to remove the kidney stone. Oh. And, uh, and that's all it was, because obviously once they, and I was in hospital overnight, <laughs> so I couldn't, I, I wouldn't have been able to go on the stage, mm. you know. But it's okay for now. And before, yeah, yeah, the kidney stone's fine, they took it out and, uh, you know, I've had a lot of problems lately, sciatica in my leg, which is, uh, I'm, you know, Uh, got lots of tablets for and that. It's just old age, you know. <laughs> old age catches up. But now it was only a kidney stone. Okay, but okay. it was a it, it was a big kidney stone. So that was all it was. There yeah. is a you have to bring out the kidney stone. Yeah, they had to bring it out. They had to like put a machine in and punch it out. But it mm. leaves you in pain for two or three days, you know. So okay. it was. Um, but we rescheduled the Wolverhampton show, so everything was good. But tonight uh, will be great, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be fine <laughs> okay. tonight. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The next. Uh, did you have uh, any planned or surprise set list for this show tonight? Um, not really. It's not. Uh, I mean, everything. You know, uh, uh, all the big singles and mainly all the rejects album. Uh, you know, anthems are in there. Is what okay. we play. You know, that, that, that that's what we do and. We, you know, maybe one song up the East End Babylon album, a couple off Power Grab, but everything else is incorporated through Volume One, Two, and The Power three. and the Glory, the first three albums. Okay. And that's how we do it. How many songs will we bring tonight? Oh, I think it's 20, 20 or 21. 20, oh, yeah. it's really great. Yeah, right? 20, 21 we do. Yeah. Good, good, good. We can't do any more. I think all we collapse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll talk about uh, the football. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. Because the county rejects and the football West is Ham, yeah, very, very... Yeah. <laughs> okay, the first. Do you still actively watch the West Ham United in the stadium? Um, the I'll London. be honest, I don't go as much as I did because I don't like the stadium. Okay. I've tried and I've tried and I've tried to go to uh, the Olympic Stadium. And I always support West Ham. I'll, I'll go there, but I come away with a bad taste in my mouth. Okay. It's, um, it's not Upton Park, the bowling ground, and it's um, it, it's just too much of a change. It's not right, you know. But I still go. If I can go to away games, I'll go more away games than I do to go at the, at the yeah. home ground. Because the, the, all we know is about the West Ham United is uh, similarly uh, are maybe. Uh, 
the bowling ground is the West Ham. Well, not for the London West Stadium. Ham. Yeah, not an Olympic stadium because like all the others has become a business, mm. and it's just business, business, and they should never have moved to that ground. All the old school people, all the people around my age and a lot younger, they go there and they hate it. Okay. They hate it. But football's just a big business now, and whoever's got the most money wins. Mm. As simple as that. Where, yeah. do you, where do you watch uh, Wendy at the bowling ground? Where do you? Oh, I you used to go I, 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 in different. I mean, the old times when it was Upton Park before it was all seated. I started as a kid in the North Bank. Then used to go to the South Bank okay. where the away supporters were, <laughs> and then into the West Side. I, I've never been in the Chicken Run a couple of times. And they, you had four ends of the ground that the atmosphere was electric. It was fantastic. You couldn't so beat it. Lying. But now, I mean, when it was seated, I'd go in the West Stand, and it lost a lot of the atmosphere because it was all seated. But then going to the Olympic Stadium, there's no atmosphere at all. Nobody likes it. It's um, it, it killed the club in my eyes. Oh, oh even yeah. though I'll always support them, you know, don't worry about that. I'll always be West Ham <laughs> till I die, you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, the best player at West Ham? The best player, you? What ever at West Ham? Yes. Or the best player best now? Player. Uh, well, obviously the best player we ever had would have been Bobby Moore, but Bobby I didn't Moore. see much yes. of Bobby Moore because uh, when he left West Ham, I was about. I was about seven or eight years old when Bobby Moore left. So uh, the the best West Ham player I ever seen was Trevor Brookin. Okay, was fantastic. And the best player at West Ham now, without a shadow of a doubt, is Declan Rice. But he'll soon be ah. going to Arsenal. So like, <laughs> I don't yeah, know. Yeah, he is an Irish. Or an English. Yeah, he's got to go. I suppose he's got to. <laughs> he, he wants success. You get one he's career. English. But he's a, yeah, he's a great player. Yeah. Okay. How about the? Uh, the companion of the Bobby Moore, just like uh, uh, Jeff Hurst and uh, Martin Peters. Well, that's it. We, we could always say with them that we won the World Cup. And that's our <laughs> thing because, because the 1966, yeah, because 66, yeah, with Jeff Hurst scored an hat trick, Martin Peters yes. scored the other goal, and Bobby Moore lifted Bobby Moore the trophy. Left the cup. Okay. It's a shame because we've got such a great history, but we've been fouled time and time and time again with chairman and owners who have never invested the right money into West Ham. Yeah. But then on the other side, I wouldn't want to become Chelsea or Manchester City, <laughs> teams that have bought success. It's as simple as that. They just have millions and millions and millions of pounds and then they go and win everything. That's the tragedy of football. Probably. Too much money involved. It's like Formula One racing. <laughs> If you've got so much more money, your car wins, you know? <laughs> yes. So let's see how it's become. <laughs> did you know about the, do you know the Carlton Cole? The Carlton Cole? No. Was Carlton Cole, the, the West Ham Oh, Carlton Cole, yeah, oh, yeah, Carlton yeah. has been played uh, from uh, Persib Bandung. Oh right, Captain yes. Cole played for Ben <laughs> yes. Dunn, did he? Oh right, yes. was he any good? Yes. Good. <laughs> oh he did, yeah, he did okay, yeah. <laughs> good on Cole, and yeah. That's a cool and cool. He was very hit or miss for West Ham, but he was a he was a cult favourite. Some kind of legend, I, I right? I didn't know he played for Ben yes. Dunn, that's He was brilliant. playing for uh, Preston yeah. Van Dung in recent years, maybe at the four, four, five years ah, later. Oh, good luck to him, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Colton, yeah, like a West Ham legend. They weren't a great player, yes. but everybody I loved him, yeah. Okay. The next question, okay? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, what is your hope and message for the West Ham United fans from Indonesia? Because there's a lot of uh, hammers uh, are the West Ham United fans in Indonesia. I'd say my, my hopes for West Ham is that I could actually get a chairman. You know that uh, Sullivan, David Gold's dead. R.I.P. Okay. Rest his soul. Sullivan. Karen Brady. That they move on. They let somebody else take over the club and. The big question is, the hope for Amherst fans, is what do we really want? Mm. Do we want to become a super rich club like Chelsea and okay. Champions League? And that's the only way you're going to get success. success. You're going to have to buy it. But, you know, if West Ham go down this season, which they still could do, it wouldn't be the end of the world because, you know, we've had some great times in the lower division. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and you support your team thick or thin, but no, I think um, if they get the right structure in place, uh, it's dog eat dog now in the Premier League football. You know, Newcastle now have got loads of money, and they're they're right up at the top. So, <laughs> to keep in at that higher level, they need somebody with a lot, a lot, a lot of money to push the old ball out and come in. To but as I say, win, lose or draw, it's West Ham. We know the score. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
I, I have read about the your your show in the Birmingham. It's about uh, maybe some class with yeah. Birmingham City. Uh, the question is, uh, what what is your opinion about the football referee that crossed the line? Uh, football, what crossed the line? What what yes. what? what uh, uh, is it a supporter? What uh, the maybe? Uh, but a working referee, class. Yes. Uh, about the referee between the supporters, just like a. Uh, Like at Birmingham, you have recently. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. It. There's a rivalry between supporters. I mean, it, it it wasn't like it was in the 1970s and 80s. There's rivalries, and there's still a lot of skirmishes, and there's still a lot that goes on. But I think that, that that's been overtaken now. It was an English thing. Like, uh, I mean, there's still rivalries. Still, teams hate each other, <laughs> and that. But um, I think a lot of rivalries have been overtaken a lot. It, it, it's because The hooligan element, if you go to places like Russia and South right. America and all that, 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 that's gone through the roof. That's <laughs> really, really, really mad. And we have our rivalries in England. It used to be very violent in the 70s and 80s, but not Summers. so much now, which is a good thing because, okay. um, you know, nobody really wants that. When you're a kid, it's great. <laughs> but when you get older and you look at it, you, nobody wants that. You want to go to football in peace. Have some banter with the opposition, you know, yeah, have a bit of chanting and that. And I think that's as far as it should go. <laughs> because and, uh, okay. it's changed, it has changed. Because we have uh, we have some uh, uh, question about the interview with Cass Pennon. Oh yeah, Cass, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cass uh, uh, talk about the the 70s and 80s is very, very rough. Yeah, it was, yeah, and Cass is right, yeah. Yeah, Cash is right. Yes. I know Cash very well. And it's very yeah. fired, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and Cash is right. It, okay, it, it's okay. moved on now, okay, okay. and uh, that's been left behind uh, in a lot of places. Okay. It still exists, but not to the level that it once did. Okay, okay. Uh, now about the closing, right? What is your opinion about uh, the campaign for this event? Uh, that's called Music for All, Stop the Hate. What is our, your opinion about this? Well, yeah, that's good. Yeah, Music for All. I mean. Hatred and politics and stuff should never really, not really enter music. Music's rock and roll. Music was meant to be fun, you know. Right from at the start, when I used to hear Elvis Presley and Mick Jagger, there was no hatred or, <laughs> uh, you know, it was just great rock and roll music. Yes, and, okay. and I think I think that's the way. Yeah, everybody's everybody's at one person across across the whole world. Okay. You know, okay. and uh, I think uh, I think that's the best thing. Nobody wants division or hatred. And I think music should always be a good thing to bring music. people together. Okay, music is music. Yeah, hate is music, hate, <laughs> yeah, hatred, <laughs> politics out okay. the window. Hate it. Yeah, okay. can't stand it. The last one. Any message yes. from uh, Cockney Rejects to all of yeah. your fans in Indonesia? Ah, oh, well, Indonesia. I mean, we're so honoured to be here and to be asked to be here. Uh, you really don't know what goes on inside this mind. And uh, when we started as a band, two brothers in in a bedroom in Custom House in East London and 44 years later we're coming to places like Indonesia and being treated by you people so well it's fantastic and um, when we get on the stage tonight we're, we're, as we always do wherever we try and get the best show ever it'll be 100% full on and uh, we thank all you people for your kindness for your hospitality and for inviting us to your great country thank you very much okay Okay, thank you. This is the, the last one. Uh, yeah. Uh, you, can you greet uh, with Bahasa uh, mm. to say uh, to the Bandung lads? Uh, it is, uh, uh, hello Bandung. Uh, we will. We, uh, hello Bandung. Saya akan uh, bermain di kota anda sekarang. Gitu. Can you say that? Hello Bandung. <laughs> hello Bandung. So, kami akan. So, kami akan bermain di kota anda malam ini. Beyond the American the man of many. Okay. Is that what, uh, did <laughs> I do okay. well? It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank yes, you. thank you. Brilliant. Thank you very much.